Hi everyone and welcome to another video. This one is talking about AI and how it's going to have an impact on healthcare. So to start off with, we're going to talk about the most advanced artificial intelligence a chatbot on the planet at the moment. Um, you may have heard of it, it's called ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT is developed by OpenAI and currently it's free to use. You just have to sign up for it and you know, away you go. They have had some server issues because there's been an influx of demand. Now, you may be watching this in the future and this AI could be called something else. Maybe, uh, you know, I think there's some sort of deal where Microsoft may be looking into it, but at the moment it's called ChatGPT. So what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a language-based program. It's an artificial intelligence that uses machine learning, uh, more specifically deep learning. It generates human-like responses to input text. So that means, you know, I can type up something into my browser and it will give me a, a response that should be barely or indistinguishable from a human. Now, just to clarify, at this stage, ChatGPT is only trained up to events and uh, information up to 2021. So it doesn't have live access to the internet and it's not completely up to date to 2023 at the moment. So you have to bear that in mind. The developers are um, putting more resources and making sure that, you know, um, there's no bugs and so on. And at some point there will probably be a new iteration that's more up to date. So ChatGPT, how can it actually help um, medicine or healthcare in general? Well, as a doctor, there are certain things that I look at and go, this could be very interesting. And when you look at it from the perspective of, for example, you know, nursing, pharmacy, uh, administrative work, there's so many different ways that ChatGPT can help to maximize uh, efficiency, maximize hopefully patient outcomes. So what can we do with ChatGPT? It can help to give summaries. And in fact, I think that's where it can really help to, to basically summarize large blocks of text um, where you can just say, you know, can you please condense all of this into one paragraph, um, easy to understand. And you know, it basically uh, opens up the possibilities. Now, just a disclaimer, currently ChatGPT has no privacy at all. So the developers can see any and all text that's inputted, which means that if you do use it, just make sure not to include any sensitive text, definitely no identifiable uh, information, and just be wary that occasionally, depending on how you've input data, it may give you incorrect information. So you really should fact check things. It, it basically helps supplement uh, what you're doing, but it shouldn't replace uh, you know, your own research. So ChatGPT can help with, for example, virtual medical consultations where um, a, a user will type up or you know, input their symptoms, uh, their a description of what's happening. And for example, a virtual assistant can help to triage that. And say you have a hundred responses, you should hopefully be able to go, okay, this is the order in which they should be seen in terms of urgency. Um, that's just one way of you know, doing things. So one thing I wanted to talk about uh, was uh, about giving patients instructions, uh, handouts, leaflets. Now, usually you need to have some sort of a bank of um, information somewhere, or you need to go and access a uh, handout somewhere. Sometimes you have to you know, just type it in. Uh, find a PDF. However, <clears throat> and sometimes there may not be one readily available for that one specific thing. So here you can see I'm just writing, could you give detailed written instructions on weaning down and ceasing a daily dose of citalopram 40 milligrams. Now this uh, is ChatGPT generating the response in real time, um, giving them a general hand handout you know, 
we're going to then add to this and maybe on the side somewhere I'll give them an exact okay you're going to go down by you know from 40 to 30 to 20 to 10 etc and this just gives them all the other information that I'd usually want them to know like what side effects or withdrawal symptoms sorry to look for uh, what sort of things to do if they have any issues however on the flip side ChatGPT can help educators by, for example, giving you question banks and quizzes, things that you can now create much faster than if you had to go and look it up yourself. And you can still fact check it and make sure it's all correct. But rather than having to you know, type it all out and take 20 minutes, uh, you can probably just, you know, hopefully in the future, do it in two minutes and then read through, make sure it's all correct. Now, ChatGPT's quality of information does depend on the quality of the input and the more detail you give it, the more it can give you information that's accurate. And this is another example of another weaning schedule. This time around, I wanted to highlight the fact that it is not ready just yet. And so we, there is work to be done and uh, OpenAI is investing uh, more time, effort, you know, money into this, but you have to be careful of inaccuracies and double check and fact check. So here I'm going to ask it to give a detailed uh, weaning schedule for venlafaxine 150 milligrams, including which tablets to take. So <clears throat> also known as Effexor. So it's going to hopefully give me a list here. All the pre, yeah, here we go. So week one, Week two, so far, so good. And now we start getting into a little bit of a, mm, I'm not sure about your math there, chat GPT sort of thing. So week seven, reduce the dose to 60 milligrams by taking half a tablet of 75. Now I know half of 75 is not 60 and half of 37.5 on week 9 is not 30, so it's, you know, you have to, this is all actually quite great, in fact, the actual schedule is something that I would recommend, but, you know, there's week 9, it's just giving the incorrect information, so just bearing that in mind. ChatGPT can also be used to analyse large amounts of data and help to summarise it. So for example, in the future, say you have a patient record with um, hundreds, maybe even thousands of uh, notes from different days spanning back, say, a decade. Now, it's almost impossible for the doctor on that day in a 15 minute appointment to go back and see, um, you know, what's happened over that entire period of time. You can sort of remember, potentially maybe look back through some of the notes, but can you imagine if there was an AI that could that you could type in and just say, can you please summarize all instances of uh, anything to do with blood pressure, any mention of blood pressure, any record of any blood pressure readings? Can you put it all into a two paragraph summary, please? And there you have it. The chatbot AI will probably be able to do that in the future for you. And uh, it just helps to minimize errors, helps to save time and helps, hopefully, as I was saying before, patient outcomes. That, that's what we want, you know, people to live longer and better lives. And I think AI is going to help us with that. If there's anything else you'd like to know about ChatGPT, please leave me a comment below and uh, remember to hit the subscribe button.